Hi everybody, welcome to another career tutorial. I'm Kite Man. What we're going to do this time through is we're going to make uh, ruled surfaces. Now, something about ruled surfaces, uh, there, are, there are a couple of things you need to kind of know before you start messing with uh, ruled surfaces. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and drop a vertex object into our scene. And uh, let's go ahead and jump to the modeling box. This is your modeling box. This is where your stuff's going to get made. If you command click this, that becomes your drawing plane. Command click this, it becomes your drawing plane. And same thing all the way around. Let's go ahead and make a circle. And let's uh, draw it. And make sure your grid's turned on when you're doing this too. It's, it's going to help the whole process a lot. Push enter. And since this is since you drew this on the drawing plane, if you select move to drawing plane, it moves it right back where it was. So if you ever get lost, you can do that. And let me show you something else too. Uh, in move to drawing plane, uh, command shift M is open. If uh, you guys need that for a command, see that command shift M, pow. Uh, so. Those are your those are your drawing planes. Let's go ahead and uh, kind of rotate our stuff around a little bit. Shift R is another uh, is another thing you need is another command you need to be aware of. Shift R is going to rotate your stuff in exact increments. That way you don't have to worry about freeform and a whole bunch of stuff. You can just go 45, pow. See that? Or minus 45. Pow. See that? And uh, this is going to help out with, with exact rotations. You know, uh, if you're, especially if you're making you know something futuristic, everything pretty much has exact uh, measurements. So you you want to kind of know how to orient your your vertices okay so anyway we got those right there and there was another one uh, well you know what we'll probably run across it when we're doing this let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and do our first set of surfaces keeping our keeping our circle here let's go ahead and duplicate this command D shift T is going to bring this out and let's do a ruled surface. When you select ruled surface, this turns blue. You select that, and then it'll turn blue there too, and then make your surface. Does this all the way around. Now let's uh, let's go ahead and duplicate, duplicate. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and shift this around. Shift R. Let's do a 45, and let's duplicate, Shift-T, oh. there we go, and we're going to rotate that 45. Now let's uh, look at the top and see what we got. See that right there? Let's move this over slightly and see if you have your grid turned on it just helps the process immensely uh, I think that's right yeah, I don't want to belabor this too long but if you don't have this set right sometimes the uh, sometimes your vertices or your polygons will pinch and you don't want pinched polygons never it makes them very angry uh, ruled surface, kapow, bang, bang, kapow, kapow. See that? There you, there you go. That's what I'm talking about, pinch polygons. Now you could probably, oh, you, want, you can't while it's doing that, but if you can select that, and then we'll just do a manual rotation. Get that kind of like that. It's still going to be off just a little. There we go. That looks more like it. Let's try that one. Select, select, 
select, select, select. Nah, still too close. But you kind of get the idea, right? I mean, you don't you don't want your polygons to pinch. Uh, you don't want too long a space between your between your vertices at any given point uh, because it looks all stretchy. But this is a good one to make uh, bridges, maybe um, anywhere where you need uh, a surface to you know do something irregular. You can do that. Uh, but you know this is this is like a minor one. Let's go ahead and uh, lose these, and let's uh, do our double sweep. Double sweep is actually the fun one. Uh, you can kind of play with that and and get some really uh, come on sucker play with your double sweep and your double sweep uh, gives you quick results and uh, yeah it's it's actually one of the cooler ones or the coolest one let's go ahead and get this guy centered right here Kapow. and let's go to the top let's make an irregular shape There we go. And this is why you want to know rotations. Oh, you know what? This will keep that from happening. This is why you want to know rotations. Uh, Shift R. We're going to do a 180 on our Y axis. Just drag it all the way over. Pow. T. There we go. Oh, yikes copy, paste, move this over, shift R, 180, see that, shift T, get that right where we want it, and now, let's go ahead and select these guys, move it up to the middle, well you know what, let's go ahead and leave it down there because I want to show you something. Uh, let's do our double sweep, select our double sweep, and then select our profile, and select its extrusion path. And that actually worked out pretty good. But see how you have kind of an irregular shape there? Based on the, the curve you made. Well, that didn't do what I wanted it to. I thought it was going to be all jacked up, but let's go over here. Let's try that again. And you don't need to touch anything on the keyboard. You just, once you select this, it knows that you want to select a profile and the extrusion. I want to call them an extrusion path, but I don't think they're really, I don't think I'm really calling them the right thing. Let's see that. Let's see an igloo or the inside of a cave. Let me show you this. See, they're not, they're not just surfaces, they're also, uh, well, they are surfaces, but they're also, uh, they can also be the insides of something. So if you, you want to model something inside, come on, baby, where the hell is it at? There we go. It's also the inside of inside of something, you know. So you can uh, really do some cool stuff with this. Can you think caves? Can you think the interior of spaceships? Uh, there's a whole bunch of stuff that can happen here. Let's go ahead and there we go. Okay. Now, let's do our Gordon surfaces. Your Gordon surface is just like your double sweep surface, only you are uh, doing other stuff to it. Let's go ahead and make another curve. And you want to make sure that your, your, your profile is centered on your drawing. Well, this is probably what I was wanting to show you. Let's go ahead and make this. Let's go ahead and make kind of a spaceship kind of thing 
and see if you have your grid turned on so that put it right directly in the center let's go ahead and double click this one and the thing about the Gordon surfaces is you need to have uh, two profiles Oh, did I not copy paste it? You need to have two profiles. You need to have a front and a back. Um, at least two. What you want to do is kind of uh, you can have intermediate ones but you ha need to have at least two. There we go. draw this down and your S command is going to help out with this a lot alright alright you ready for your Gordon one the Gordon one uh, you just need to have more you can just add more stuff that the double sweep is the easiest one this one's more complex and you're gonna have to be doing a lot of undoing and uh, trying to trying to make your model what uh, but watch this uh, let's select Gordon surfaces kapow 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 Pal, push enter after you select them they all turn blue that means now they that mean since they're turning blue now that means it is registered now it wouldn't have registered any other way now push this and this and this and when you push enter uh, sometimes it's so ugly but yeah I guess that works uh, it's a little bit compressed you can see that there that could be a hull of a ship with a little modification. Actually, you know what? I can do this. Let's go ahead and invert our selection. And once you've inverted, you can delete it. And then now, if you want to model, oh, if you want to model you can engage symmetry it puts it right there in the middle kinda uh, bummer see that's the that's kinda the downside if you if your stuff's off just a little bit your models gonna be off just a little bit bummer I was gonna come off as a superhero in this one but yeah those are pretty much your those are pretty much your uh, your surfaces if you've got to do any kind of modifications to this you can smooth it super smooth it uh, smooth the edges and your surface comes off pretty organic and uh, yeah you can just see things happening with it so it's not the perfect example but I hope you got it pretty much got an idea uh, Gordon surfaces were a big problem for me and uh, I didn't find a whole lot of love in the Carrera manual, honestly. But if you have hexagon, uh, you can, uh, yeah. There's a there's a whole thing on uh, sweep pass, what their purposes are, that kind of thing. I mean, it it's a very comprehensive manual, and I don't want to jump on the on the pile. But uh, Daz, if you want to. Uh, I want an example, a good example of a manual. I, I like Hexagon's manual a lot. So, anyway, that's my soapbox, and that's it for this time. I'm Crate Man, and I'll talk to you again later. Bye.